Hello students, today I am going to show you the whole procedure of how to do a titration. The things which we require for titration are the following. The most important part of the titration that we require is a burit. This is a burit. You can see the readings from there. Here, here we have 0 and then we come down to 50 centimeter cube. This is the stop cock through which we can close and open. Now the next part, uh, next appliance or we can say next apparatus is the pipette. Pipette is uh, about 25 ml or centimeter cube. So what I'm going to do is today if I look into the, if the experiment aim, I have got 100, uh, I have got hydrochloric acid and I have got sodium hydroxide. So uh, the question over here is, I have to find out the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution. That means hydrochloric acid is the standard solution because we already know the concentration. The concentration of hydrochloric acid is 0.03 mole per decimeter cube. So the first thing that I do is I will take a conical flask. This is a conical flask and then I will measure about 25 centimeter cube of HCl and put it into the conical flask. So if you look at the bottles, this is HCl that is 0.03 molarity or concentration. And uh, I am going to use a filler. This is known as a filler. So I'll dip the pipet into the hydrochloric acid solution and with the help of the filler try to take out 25 centimeter cube of HCl. I just put my finger here and now I have to bring to this level. You can see a small round mark over here. So I have to bring it to that level. That will be 25 centimeter cube to be very slow. Yeah, this is accurately 25 centimeter conical flask. So you can just shake it a little bit that nothing is remained behind, remaining behind. And then not to forget, since this is hydrochloric acid, I will put two drops of Phenolphthalein. I am putting two drops of phenolphthalein. This is the indicator that I am using. So two drops of phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein will be colorless in the acid. But remember, when we have alkali solution or alkaline solution, phenolphthalein will turn it into pink. So the next thing that I do is I am going to fill this with sodium hydroxide solution. So uh, before doing that, I'm going to rinse this with sodium hydroxide solution. So I will just fill it a little bit with sodium hydroxide solution. I can use a funnel, okay? I can use a funnel and dip it here in the sink. Just a little bit, not much, but a little bit. There you go. So the stopcock is open. I can close it here and then I just remove the funnel and then I just I can just uh, uh, do it like this, just rinse it a little bit, yeah, and then let it run out, that is done. So there we are. So there we are, all the bubbles and all are out, and then we are ready for the final titration. So I put it over here, and there is one very important thing that we should know is, when we are filling the sodium hydroxide solution in the buret, we have to be very careful that our eye should be in level with the readings. Otherwise, there will be a parallax error. To be very, very accurate, we have to uh, avoid the parallax error. So we have to see that we have it in our... So in the beginning, when you're filling it up, you can keep it a little lower. For taller people, you can put it higher up. For me, 
uh, I can put it a little low and I'll keep it in uh, in with my uh, yeah I just keep it a little bit like that or what I can do is just lift it up like that and that's it now remember to keep this closed otherwise what will happen is your uh, uh, the energy will start going sometimes what we do also is we always keep a uh, fun, uh, we always keep a conical flask underneath so let me fill this first since I have closed it I know that's not going to fall so I'll just first I can increase the height a little bit and then yes now almost uh, to what I wanted the reading is almost if it is a little more you can drop one drop and therefore you can avoid the uh, so just one drop I think so I just drop one yeah that's it one two drop now I think so I'm in level so very important that we have uh, we don't have any error, parallax error. And then we can face the reading here and then we are ready with our uh, conical flask. What do we have in this? We have 25 centimeter cube of HCl. This is uh, actually the standard solution. We know the molarity, we know the concentration of this. So we just, now before this, I forgot to tell you, we'll put a tile here. Why? So we can see the end point, the color change when the end point comes. So it's important that we can see a slight change in the uh, end and naturally it will change from colorless to pink at the end point. So and that is the time when we take the uh, value, take the reading. So uh, as I have already done a rough stage and I have an idea that after 15 i have to go a little slower so let us see that i first run it a little fast and when i approach the uh, approach the end point i can become a little slow so let me drop it but remember whenever you're dropping swirl it like that <coughs> so i can be a little faster till i come to uh if you see if i turn the reading you'll see here the reading and i have approach 12 so i still have to drop i can swirl it like that and i know since i know it is yeah so can you look uh, can we look here to the reading so we are coming now to the end point okay so let's be a little now we can go down and uh, i can be a little slower so remember that uh, once we know, once we have first tighter, should be the rough tighter, and then we can, we'll have an idea and we can go a little faster. So this is the most important part because, yeah, see, you can see that was reading, sorry, this was the reading that we can have is, uh, what is it? Uh, it's about uh, 17 or, uh, is about, about 17, almost 17, a little less than 17. So this uh, actually we could have dropped half a drop, but I think so we have got the end point now. So now I have the calculation which I'm going to uh, do. Now calculation is uh, first we have to uh, take the buret reading rough and then uh, suppose uh, we have uh, the rough tighter as uh, uh, about maybe 18 then the real tighter could be slower so then we'll have the reading so we already took it as almost 17 so this will be taken finally we take an average and I will show you that calculation for the titration lab now we just now we observed a titration lab in which we had to determine the concentration of the provided sodium hydroxide. The standard solution was hydrochloric acid with a concentration of 0 0.03 mole per decimeter 
cube. The indicator that we are that we used in this lab was phenolphthalein. So let us move on to the calculation for this lab. Now, if you look at the result table, the first table we have rough the burette volume. Uh, that is the rough reading uh, because we we can just drop the sodium hydroxide solution from the burette to the conical flask uh, a little faster so at least we'll have an idea about what is the near average uh, we can near uh, tighter uh, near tighter or we can near end point so the first accurate reading was 17.2 the second one was 16.5 and the third one was uh, 17. So when we added all the three and divided by three, we got an average titer of 16.9. Now we move on to the question asked in the experiment. The first question is write a balance uh, equation. So the balance equation is hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide will give us NaCl plus water. Whenever an acid reacts with a base, it is with a soluble base with a, or with a base, alkali or a base, it is a neutralization reaction will take place and salt and water will be formed. So stoichiometrically, uh, hydrochloric acid and NaOH are having 1,1 one, one moles and even sodium chloride and water. Next question is, calculate the number of moles of acid which was present in the conical flask. So here we had already, we know, the uh, formula N equals to C into V, where N is the moles, C is the concentration, V is the volume. Moles equals to 0 0.03, that was given. And we also have, uh, the we had taken 25 centimeter cube of acid with the help of a pipette. And so we have to divide it by 1000 to convert that 25 centimeter cube into decimeter cube. And we get the number of moles of hydrochloric acid as 0 0.00075 mole. The third question is, using the equation, calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, which would have reacted with the acid in the conical flask. So we see that they both have a ratio of hydrochloric acid and NaOH, both has a ratio of 1 is to 1. Therefore, the moles of NaOH will also be 0 0.00075 moles. Finally, the last question we are, are is asked, Using the moles from above and your average titer value, calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution. So here we can use the formula C equals to M by V, where C is equals to concentration, M is moles over there, and uh, V is the volume. So concentration equals to moles divided by volume. So mole we already took out 0 0.00075 divided by uh, the average titer was 16.9 centimeter cube. We converted it into decimeter cube by dividing by 1000 and we got it as 0 0.0169. So when we divided it by 0 0.00075, we got the concentration of NaOH. The concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.044 mole per decimeter cube. So that's the final answer. I hope students you have understood the lab and the calculation. If you like my video lessons, please, please, please uh, like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.